Hey everyone, welcome back to White Sparrow Living. This is Wendy. Today I'm really excited to bring you my home tour for Christmas decorating. And we're gonna start with decorating the tree. This is about a nine foot tree. And the first thing you wanna do with any tree, it's obviously a fake tree, but you want to fluff out all of the branches. And that's is probably the most time consuming part but once you get the lights up, there's always more that needs to be fluffed up and spread out. So one of the things I like to do is we have a rotating stand. So it turns all the way, you know, three, 360. So you can kind of foof while it's turning around and it makes it a little easier. Then the next thing I'm going to do is get the lights all in order and, and spread out evenly. And one trick to doing that is if you squint your eyes, you can tell if it's distributed, you know, equally and there's no heavy parts or light parts. So now here I'm adding some metallic silver mesh that I got from Walmart and I'm just doing little poofs along the way and I go about six or seven inches and then just take one of the branches and wrap it around, squeeze it together, pinch it together, and that will just give you a sweet little poof. And you just wanna do that all the way around. When you run out of a roll, take the beginning of the next roll and pinch it together with the end of the piece that you just finished with and take that same branch and wrap that around. So do this all the way around and you're going to kind of go at a diag diagonal direction. So going downward and it'll spiral all the way around. If you get a poof that's a little too big, just kind of tug on it a little and it should get to the place that you want to be. For this mesh, this is the nine inch, it's six yards, and I got this from Walmart. I can't remember exactly how much it was, but it couldn't have been more than $6. So here it is all done, and you can tell if it's distributed, like I said, evenly. And so once you get all of that on there, then you're gonna go with the next piece, which I have some of this um, it's kind of like a grapevine squarish looking uh, garland but I've had this for years and it's still hanging in there but I just really like the way this works it's it's real rigid and you just let it kind of guide itself and work it through the branches and I like to have little twists and turns and so even though it's made out of like twigs or some kind of grapevine you can stick branches through it to make it do what you want and go where you want it to go. So I have quite a few of these, so I do it all the way up and down and, and, and to the right and left. So it's kind of a zigzag pattern. Um, just wherever you see any empty areas, just move it on into there and let it twirl itself. And it's a really nice filler and makes us an, another dimension to the tree and i like to have lots of dimensions and different textures inside of the tree I love this tree stand because you can just use your foot to turn it off and on. It has two controls, one for the lights and then one for the rotation. So the next thing we're going to do is take your largest ornaments and place those at the bottom. And then I'm using this buffalo check ribbon that you've seen me use. It's $9.99 regular price, so half price at Hobby Lobby. It was $5. And for this, I like to get it real loose and flowy and this we're going to also kind of do in a zigzag pattern and just find a branch in the area where you want it to go let it be a lot looser than the poofs that you're doing and go start it starting at the top and then moving your way down and just going zigzagged you know back and forth and let it overlap with the metallic mesh and flow all the way through there and fill the entire tree.
so now I'm gonna go in with some branches and I got these years ago from a place in Clovis California called Martins and anytime you're using branches you want to kind of overlay them as if the branch is continuing so from the tree and then I also got these black glittery leaves which black is kind of hard to find but it's getting a little more popular these days and so I just placed those in and again if the tree's rotating if you have a rotating stand it makes it so much easier to see where the blank spots are and where you can add these when I was filming this I should have been on the other side of the tree because the window's right there so it kind of makes a glare and it's a little bit hard to see so I guess you live and learn since this is my first home tour so now I'm adding some medium-sized ornaments and I'm putting those you know evenly dispersed again and these are kind of hard not hard but they're a little more difficult because they are longer so anytime you have longer ornaments there's specific places where they look better because they'll hang better so now I'm gonna make a bow and I am doing the fold over method I did eight loops on each side just to make it a lot bigger I like to put the bow at the top after I place my star just because then I'm able to see where I need to add things toward the top and then work my way down with the smaller ornaments so here I'm just it was eight loops on each side. I folded it in half to get the middle and then just took some wire and twisted that in the back and then cut off the excess. And then I'm gonna start foofing it and switching one on one side, one on the other and do that for both sides. And then we'll dovetail the ends and then place it right under the star. Now I'm going to add these faux fur poinsettias as well as some blackish greenish poinsettias and then these Dollar Tree glittery branches and I just kind of stuck them right under the bow and as you'll see I kind of change my mind every now and then and then I'll add some additional medium and smaller black and silver ornaments. I like the look of bundled ornaments so what I do is I take three or four and I take a piece of wire and stick them through the holders and bunch them together in a little cluster and then I also have these large pine cones and I when I take the clusters I put them in whatever spot I'm gonna put them in but usually it's best if you put it in between the poofs so where the poofs are gathered because it kind of holds them together so that they're not separated so I'm adding some black and some white and silver ornaments to match with the black and 
white buffalo check. And then also, I always use these that don't have the tops, the ornament holders, or if they're cracked or whatever, because those are perfect to just stick onto a branch, and it, I think it looks so pretty, and it finishes it off. So here's some more clusters of the black, again, in the middle of the two poofs so that they are clustered nicely and tight. So here it is to this point, we're almost done. And then you may have seen my video where I made these little tags, well they're big actually. And so I put that on the back of the tree because it's rotating, there is a front, but there's also a back. So for this, it's basically like having two fronts really. So this is on the back side and I think it looks so cute and nice and big so you can really see it and then i added these longer ornaments that i had found in my aunt Jeannie's craft room i'll link that video as well and then i always add these ribbons that are from my dad's funeral flowers and this is just a way that we always remember my dad who passed away suddenly in 2006 and then also my mother-in-law passed away in 2016 and so we received a sweet ornament from a dear friend and we always have that on the tree as well. So once it's all complete, I have my sweet Michael J push it into place because he's big and strong and I cannot do that. So because it's rotating, we have to make sure that we have enough room on the right and the left so that it doesn't hit the walls and then it's ready to roll. So here's everything all done and we're standing kind of in my entryway and looking into the living room that's connected to the kitchen. So it's one big living area and I think it turned out really well. As you can see, I used all of the black and white buffalo check. Um, these are a lot of, these are projects that I did and I'll link the videos in the description box below. But on this front entryway, hall tree this was my mother-in-law's and I placed some garland over top of it and this is a digital frame that has all of my dad's pictures and some really sentimental music that's very special to us so I love to have that running at all times during especially during the Christmas season and then this is a blanket rack that my brother-in-law had made for us and then these little Christmas trees are also a DIY that I did. And it's just sitting on top of a cake plate on a sofa table there. And these little hobbit houses I got from Mary Little, my sweet friend, who I did a home tour of not too long ago. And here's another look at that blanket rack. And above it is a trash to treasure sign that I did. Have yourself a Merry Little Christmas. And Again, all of these are on videos that I've recently done, so I'll link all of them in the description box. So this is the shelf that's just next to the fireplace, and on the first shelf we've got the Fresh Cut Trees sign and the little Frosty and some lights. I love lights. We have the Bible and a lamp that I added some ribbon to, and I'm actually going to do a DIY at the end of this video. It's super, super simple. 
and then some more projects that I did. And then I just added some greenery and this Christmas tree or, you know, it's just a green tree, but it was all gold. And so I painted that and made it all soft and pretty to match with everything as I did with the nativity set there that I got from the 99 cent store. I painted that white and this, I did these ornaments with the font from my Silhouette Cameo and I, do, I don't show you how to do that on this video but I will link how I did that for another tree um, in the description box below. These 99 cent stockings are one of my favorite. They weren't 99 cents though. They were at the 99 cent store, but they were $1.49. So I think that's false advertising, but I'm still happy to pay $1.49. So then I added some greenery to my mantle and threaded the lights through it and then put my reindeer, their paper mache reindeer that I just put some houndstooth black and white ribbon around their necks and made bows for them and then hung my Jesus is the reason for the season trash to treasure project and then flanked it with two sconces that I had and filled those with lamb's ear and then this sweet little angel I got from my goddaughter for Christmas one year and so she's sitting right there kind of announcing the reason for the season and again I threaded the buffalo check ribbon through that garland a lot kind of the same way I did when I did the tree so real flowy and just be generous with it because there's a lot on those rolls but all of the words that you see have to do with Christmas and Jesus and the reason for the season so then trying to keep your eyes away from that big ugly box otherwise known as a tv i made a dome with a oh what's it called the roving yarn yeah the roving yarn and i made a little tree with that and put some tacks from the dollar tree in there with so that they look like ornaments and then i have this enamel wear pitcher that i also got from mary little and there's a an antler there that I got from one of my friend's husband. That's an actual antler that was shed by a deer. And then a lot of people have been asking me where I got these pillows. And I got those at Ross, Dress for Less. And they weren't both at the same store. But we got two. I, had a, I found one at two different stores. And then here's the love of my life. Not really. My Our baby girl, Lola she's like freezes in the camera but she's <laughs> so sweet she was a rescue and we've had her now for this will be the third christmas so <laughs> she doesn't want to look at the camera and then next to the couch we have the hearth and hand tray that you saw me make it's a little bit different here but pretty much i just put the target dollar spot house on top with some lamb's ears and the lamb's ears, all of it that you see is from Walmart, and those are $2 a bundle. And then I got these pillows also at Ross's, and then the off-white ones with the jute around them, those are from Hobby Lobby, and those are just the pillow covers, and those are $5 each, so that's a really good buy. And then on this little tea cart, neck in between the two couches, I have a green pine tree, Christmas tree something and then inside of this lantern that I use I usually have a plant inside of it but I took my extra nativity set and placed Mary Joseph and baby Jesus inside and put a little bit of greenery and lifted it with some styrofoam and put some of the snowy cover on it and this is a picture that we always have out every Christmas. This is from December 1st, 1990, and that's Michael J. and me. Oh, we were babies here. I love looking at that. And then this is the view into the kitchen area. So we'll go there in just a second. And then for the Christmas tree, I found this skirt 
that you'll see at the bottom. It's actually not a skirt. It's a round tablecloth and I just cut a slit down to the middle and then wrapped it around the base of the tree and it's I had it on my table but the buffalo check is just it's super super big it's jumbo size and so I really didn't like it on the table it was just too big so this was a perfect replacement for anything else that I would have found as a skirt you know they're pretty pricey even at Walmart they're like $25 $30 so that saved a little money I got that at Ross's a long time ago too so then I have this buffet table and this was actually gifted to me by one of my best friends Kathy who had painted it for her mom to use as a TV stand and her mom moved out and she didn't need it and she gave it to me I was so excited so on this I have a piece that we made, my aunt and I had made this about 15 years ago with the sparkly pears and the beautiful poinsettias. And I don't know if you can see it at the bottom in, this, in a second you'll, when I pan over, but we actually wrapped it with black and white buffalo check. And this is 15 years ago, and so that's how long I've loved Buffalo Check. So if anybody thinks it's going out of style anytime soon, it's probably going to be here for a while. So I just added the Buffalo Check bow in the front and then put the Dollar Tree platter that I placed the scripture on. And in the video i had made the little berries red but because i didn't have any red in this room i painted over them in the black and then i have a christmas card that i put inside of a frame i just love it and it's mary holding the baby jesus so that goes with the scripture and then moving into the kitchen this is my I would marry this island if I could. <laughs> I love this island. We designed this and had it built uh, two years ago. And so on top of here, I just have this Christmas tree. It doesn't, it, there's actually lights on it, but there's no electric around. So it's just going to be by itself. It's not going to be lit. And then over to the other side, I have a cake plate that I got at TJ Maxx and then my DIY of the little village inside of the Dollar Tree lunch pail that lights up, and then a couple of Bibles sitting next to it, and some greenery and pine cones, and then this I got at Kirkland's, the, I don't whatever this is called. What is that called, you guys? It looks like the Scales of Justice or something, but anyway, comment and tell me what that's called <laughs> and so inside of that I placed a couple of Dollar Tree candles and then surrounded those by a little bit of Christmas greenery and pine cones and then on my counter I have the Christmas tree trash to treasure that we did and then next to that is a little church and I try so hard to hide my outlets but it just doesn't work all the time <laughs> So here's my view from the sink and I love looking at a fire in the fireplace and just the whole view of all of the pretties just makes me so happy and keeping the Jesus is the reason for the season front stage front and center and center stage that's what it is and then just a little tip anytime you have something that shows from both sides you want to make sure that it's okay to see from the back side so even though we're seeing Saint Nick's fanny the cake plate and things like that you want to have something that's pretty on both sides so it's got to be double-sided this is my advent wreath that I did in a DIY and we're in the third week of advent so that's the week of joy because it's almost here and then my granddaughter made this ornament. We did a little project DIY together and then my grandson made one as well and I'll show you that in a minute. Here's my makeshift coffee bar and the two tier tray that we did in another video as well as our little gnome and he's sitting on top of a small cake stand. 
And then we have the essentials of the coffee and fiber for husband. And then this tray that was actually also made by my brother-in-law. He's pretty good with the wood. And so inside of that, I have one of my DIY, two of my DIY projects. And then I just put some greenery around it and then actually use these spoons uh, for cooking. Well, husband uses those for cooking, I don't. And then it, going into the dining room, there's a little niche that separates it. And so on that, I put the nativity scene. And it's kind of like a Yadro style figurine set. And they're not Yadros, they're not authentic Yadros, they're knockoffs, but that's okay. And then I have this. I think it's about five and a half, six feet, six, I don't know, five and a half feet about tree that's in a wood plant holder. And I love the look of just raw trees too. So on top of our piano in the dining room, I did some red and because I had to have that little red truck out, I made this vignette using two of my pine tree, pine tree or um, Christmas trees and then my vintage TV I love when it's all dark and just the lights of the Christmas lights are on it's so pretty you guys so I just used all Dollar Tree items on this and those two ornaments are from the 99 cent store but the ribbon is Dollar Tree and these two bows I did are Olivia bows and she has a super easy way to make single-sided ribbon into bows that's way easier than doing the the twisting method so you'll have to check her out for sure and then i just stacked up some books on top of a crate and put a lantern that i got from the goodwill and some greenery the red truck yard stake i stuck in there and then to my table, I got these beautiful plates, the place setting, dinnerware. It's all Christmassy. It's Pioneer Woman. And I got that from my friend Kathy as well. And I put the Dollar Tree uh, candy canes upside down because they're supposed to be J's for Jesus and then just tied some ribbon on the edge and wrapped it with some of those Dollar Tree um, greenery uh, stems, yeah. So, and then some lambs there I tucked in there too. And then this is a pitberry wreath that I got at a yard sale and then just stuck some Dollar Tree red berries and some cotton stems and some greenery into a Goodwill find. That base is from Goodwill, the wire base. And then over toward the right side of the table is my grandma and grandpa's old hutch that I painted using gray chalk paint that I had made myself and then placed some garland around it. And these are all Dollar Tree ornaments and the stocking I got from Dollar Tree a couple of years ago. And then on top of it, I have the roving Christmas tree and some skates and a nutcracker, and then just made a black and white buffalo check bow. And here is my grandson's ornament. It's red and green, and we did a Grinch face on it. And it says, hobbity hoobity wubbity or something like that from the movie, The Grinch. So I think this turned out really cute and I don't usually use red, but I, I wanted to this year just because it was the red truck season. <laughs>
here's the DIY of how I did the lampshade and it's really just a piece of scrap ribbon and I cut it so that it had a straight edge and then I found the seam of the original shade and it even was dented and so I thought this would help a little cover that um, and so I just took some hot glue and made a line of glue wrapped it around and then cut it off and then I'm gonna fold it at the end so that it gives it a finished edge glue that and this ribbon is strong enough that you can just fold it over and it will take the the fold and you just glue that down making a seam and then glue it down to the other side and you have a brand new lampshade I got this lamp at the Goodwill and it came in a box of two and it was only five dollars so two dollars and fifty cents each for this lamp and I think it's a cute little addition to any shelf and I love light so anytime I can add some to a small shelf or in a room I'm, I'm gonna do it so if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and share it. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. I really had a great time doing it. So until next time, remember the reason for the season. Have a blessed day, and remember to always be the light. Bye.